I hope you can hear me. I'll try and project my voice as far as I can. I'm quite surprised that we've had the numbers that have turned out today in a relatively short period. I notice that there's various individuals representing all sections of our community in Swindon, and that's very pleasing to see. The situation that's developed in Palestine and in Gaza is concerning, to say the least. Israel's bloody offensive in Gaza may be drawing to a close with the initiative that's currently taking place with the Americans and the Israelis. But there may be a new conflict that will be developing. And that could very well develop in Lebanon with a situation of retaliatory action that could be taken. Neither side is willing to compromise. The rest of the world stands back, wringing its hands and abdicating their responsibility. By doing nothing, the Union, United Nations, abdicates its responsibility. The ghost of millions slaughtered in the past conflict screams <coughs> and outrage of despair. We need to speak out and say, enough's enough and no further. To do so is not the slight against the Israeli legitimate security concerns. To acknowledge Israel's concerns is not to overlook the human disaster that perpetrates the people in Gaza. We need to speak out. We need to call for a negotiated settlement. The settlement of conflict. We must resist the urge for conflict. We must not let our legitimate outrage cloud our sense of justice and seek scapegoats. And above all, we must oppose violence. Returning to violence multiplies violence. War is a crime. It is a crime to those who first to turn to guns on one another. It is a crime to innocent people caught up in a crossfire. It is a crime against humanity. It is a failure of everything that democratic nations of the world purport to stand for. The, under, the unjustified and disproportionate assault of Israel's government on the people of Gaza is most definitely a crime. The tax of the last three weeks have pitted the fifth greatest military power in the world against the military. It is not a war, it is a massacre. We really need to glance at the casualty figures to see this. 1,000 Palestinians dead compared with 13 Israelis. One death on either side is too many. But the disproportionate slaughter of Palestinian civilians in a so-called targeted Israel strike is terrifying. Violence breeds violence. It was the violence against the Palestinians that led the Palestinian people to mourning Hamas over Fatah. And it will be the violence that will lead to a new generation of military. Those fighters in 10 years time will be Hamas and they will be the moderates. And the Al-Qaeda martyrs will be in government. You cannot create peace through violence. The Western world support for Israel has been nothing short of disgraceful. It has been an Arab nation. If it had been an Arab nation that had sent troops into Israel and slaughtered 1,000 civilians, they would have been an outcry. And there would have been troops from Western nations on the ground within ours. The military might be the most powerful nation in the world, but have been used to keep the peace. But it, it is the other way around and we only have empty words and resolutions. The, the role of the British and American government in this action is critical. We declared war on terror. We declared the, the, we declared the world that we could launch a preemptive war on defensive war. If you believe a nation might attack you in the future, whether or not you had evidence. And it is that justification that the Israel government is, is using now. 
The action in Gaza is apparently defensive. Our illegal, our illegal and illegitimate invasion of Iraq has handed the Israeli government justification to indiscriminately bomb and terrorize Palestinian people. We must be clear. Under any definition that I know, Israeli action is terroristic. The express aim is to overthrow the democratically elected government in Gaza and to change the political opinion of the population. Violence for political means is terrorism. Israel has told the world that it is their intention. We must continue our efforts for a peaceful e oppose the violence in Gaza. We must remain peaceful because our cause is peace. The political process has failed us, but the power of people will still be felt. I am proud to stand with you here today. We stand in solidarity with the 1.5 million Palestinians trapped in Gaza. We stand in the memory of the fallen. We stand to show the world that peace is the only answer. We need to speak out and we must oppose violence. We cannot be silent. Violence multiplies violence. Adding deeper darkness to the night, a quote from Dr. Dr. Martin Luther King. We must do this so that the lessons of history are not forgotten and the cycle broken. Thank you for turning up.